All right, I got my, uh, got uh, Mayor Minch over here, and I thought this would be an interesting segment. Something very uh, tragic happened in the year two th in the year 1912. In the year 2022, exactly 110 years after 1912, something big has happened. In 1912, the Titanic crashed and many people died. A new ship, the Titanic, is going to set sail in 2022. The plan is the opening voyage is going to be the same exact voyage. Uh, Mayor, who's been on more cruises than all of us combined, is an expert on cruising. Mayor, what's your take on the Titanic setting sail in 2022? I think it's going to be great for the cruising industry. Yes, the original one was owned by Carnival Cruise Line. I mean, it started as a White Star Line, then it was brought over by Cunard, now it's owned by Carnival Corporation. The new one is called Blue Star Line. It's uh, uh, Clive Palmer. It's his uh, crazy idea to rebuild the ship. Full massive scale, one-to-one -one, uh, version of the ship. It's going to be 10,000 tons bigger than the original. Has a lot of the new features, modern uh, technologies on the ship, on the bridge, and brand new state-of-the-art lifeboats, which you find on modern-day cruise ships. I think that this crew, I think that this ship is one of a kind. It's great. It brings back tradition to the sea. Mahogany wood. It brings back all these, all these um, robust technology to the new Titanic. I. I've been on so many cruise ships and I promote Carnival, I promote Norwegian, Royal Caribbean. I am a big avid Carnival cruiser. I gotta say that this new ship is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see the grand staircase. Can't wait to see the way how the people are going to be put in costume. I mean, uh, this is a cruise ship that doesn't have Wi-Fi, doesn't have any TV. This is a cruise ship that is going to make you feel that it's 1912 in 2022. Like I said, the first one sank, but here she comes again, guys. Pray for her. She's going to be a great ship. And guys, let's go Titanic 2. All right, Neil. But what about the people? Like, I post this on Facebook. And the majority of the people that post uh, responded said you couldn't pay them enough money to go on the Titanic cruise. What about all the, the fears of so many people because of the crash in 1912? A lot of people and a lot of people feel this way, would never go on the next Titanic, even though it's 110 years apart. What would you say to those people? I would say, guys, due to the safety board and maritime laws in the United States and Maritime International, that this boat is actually differently built than the original Titanic. Titanic 1 was built with rivets and iron and oars. This is going to be a ship that's actually built with modern day technology. This is a prefabricated ship. What does that mean? It's like building Legos, but in a ship and a big ship scale. And another thing is the original Titanic only had 16 miniature lifeboats that were able to store 64 people. These new life vessels are double R. The reason why they're different is because you know how modern old ships, they only have like a little boat. These new ships have what they call, they have a cover over it. Meaning in case the, the lifeboat sinks, actually the lifeboat can itself sustain itself. It's basically a lifeboat within a lifeboat. And they, now they go towards how many people we can fit. I know the new one is going to fit 186 to 200 people per lifeboat instead of the original 68. Okay, very good. And uh, we're in 2018, 2022, still a few years away. But uh, it's a fascinating topic. I'm going to be on it. And uh, Mayor will get more input as we get closer to the Bon Voyage of Titanic 2022. Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my money. And guys, I'm going to be doing the maiden voyage. I'm going to be wearing a carnival shirt on the Titanic too. Hey, Mayor, thank you very much.